I managed to do a U-turn on the uh, Chandelier, get back onto the Arc de Triomphe, and then take the next six turn. And now I managed to get here. Basically, it's just room after room with paintings and tells about the history of the actual building. There's Marie Antoinette, by the way. Just go up to the top level now, to the bedrooms. This is the chapel where the king would uh, meet with his courtiers. Well, he did a pretty impressive job. Actually, the guy who painted this, I was reading earlier, they made a sketch earlier of what it would look like, and he actually killed himself. He committed suicide. Anyways, pretty lavish room, yeah? If you ever want to feel like cattle. <laughs> Anyways. Can you guess I'm in the Hall of Mirrors? So each of the mirrors in the archway matches the mirrors on the other side and then the lights are reflecting the mirrors. This thing is massive. Definitely the most ornate palace that I've seen in my travels. This is the official king's bedroom. Chamber room. It's where the king died. And also, <laughs> get this at 10 o'clock, he'd have his supper. He'd have the duchesses around him, and then there'd be other courtiers here sitting in the semicircle with other people just watching the king eat and making gestures and discussing the gestures. That's so weird. Well, that's Napoleon, and this whole room is dedicated to paintings of battles. In fact, from what I understand, it used to be made of separate rooms, and then they divided it, it was divided in rooms, and then they uh, removed all the dividers to make this massive room. This is the bedchamber from Madame Victoire. Nice little library. Oh, now in the gardens of the estate. And that's the biggest part. I mean, here's a map. It's massive. There's just no way you're going to get around it. goes on for miles and miles and miles up that way lots of fountains absolutely beautiful but I haven't got any more time so for me that's it I'm gonna head back to uh, Paris now I want to get to uh, Sacre-Cœur today and that has been my trip 
to the side. Well, I sure am glad I came in the morning. Uh, I came at 10. That line goes all the way back. Back, back there. No thanks. Well, I couldn't come to Paris without visiting the Louvre. I mean, it's so... Still crowded. There's no lines at all. It's uh, 5.20 in the evening. One of the things everyone's trying to do is trying to get their finger on the top of the loop. <laughs> We're all lining up to do it. Here's the view from the inside. Of course, there's a shopping mall down here. What else? One of the last things I wanted to do while I was in Paris was uh, go to Sepulchre. So they have these uh, funiculars that take you up top. Right, one of the final destinations that I wanted to do here in Europe was Sacre-Cœur. And check out the view. So look, 